Today, Peter will be uh, the Labour Party national chairman and other high stakeholders of the Labour Party and the entire obedient team were in Bayesa State today for the flag off of the governorship election coming up November of this particular year. Well, Peter Obi was there with some other delegates and the Labour Party National Chairman talked briefly about the tribunal, the Supreme Court issue, the Supreme Court case that is actually coming up and other issues. Here's the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment below. Chairman, no more laughing than Dr. Paris and Julius Apure. Put your hands together. Labour <laughs> Party Let me use this opportunity to appreciate and welcome to this arena our own president in waiting, the man that won the presidential election 2023. Who that person? That my own president, Peter Red, will be. I must use this red privilege to appreciate the people of Bayesa for standing by the party and ensuring that we won the presidential election. There is no case the fact that we won here last slide, but overnight the votes were changed. I want you as biasers to repeat that speech come the governorship election. This time around, we will not allow them to do to us what they did to us in February. This time, we must come out, vote, and defend the votes. And I'm sure that people of Bayes are capable of not just voting, but also defending those votes. I drove through Bayesa and I wept that in spite of the oil money, in spite of the huge resources that come to Bayesa every month, the records are there, you can go and verify. There are no roads in Bayesa, no schools in Bayesa. It's unfortunate. And those who are responsible for this, it's no other people than PDP and APC. Over the years, PDP and APC have given us leaders that have looted the country. They have improved their lives, improved the lives of their children, and even their, chi even their children yet unborn. Are we going to continue in this trajectory in Nigeria and in Bayesa? Are we going to continue with the state of affairs in Bayesa and the country? Are we going to continue with hunger? Are we going to continue with all unemployment? Are we going to continue with poverty? Today, the fuel is sold for 600 and something naira per day. Even where the oil is generated here from Bayesa and the rivers and all other states of Nigeria. Are we going to continue with that? No. It is not enough to just say no. It is for us to demonstrate it. It is for us to show it in our action. And one way we can do it is for us to do it through our votes. And by yesterday, an election is coming. The revolution that is likely to take place in Nigeria, can we prove that it can start from by Yes! It is not just to say it, you must prove that by coming out to come and vote for our own candidates. Who is the best of the best? And I'm sure that you listen to the state chairman who gave you the analysis of how we arrived at speaking as governorship candidate that is flying the flag of the ticket. I must also add that the obedient movement, Labour Party is driven on integrity, pedigree, performance, proactiveness, and ability to deliver. <laughs> it is all of this put together that we arrived at the candidate. 
who is no other person than Uten and Nadi. I want to say without contradiction that he is the best of the best among all the candidates. Greek NDC candidate is the best. Greek DDP candidate is the best. He has no it before in the areas where he has worked. His credentials are unblemished. Wherever you have put to them, he has performed. And therefore, we have no fear whatsoever. He is recommending me to you for you to vote for him. And I'm sure that you know that if he just concluded presidential election, Peter Obi would not have been here if he doesn't trust that he can deliver. In the 2023 general election, it's not all states of the federation that we went to campaign for the governorship candidates of Labour Party. Where we didn't believe in the candidates, we didn't go there to vote. But Peter, Gregory Obi is here himself today. <laughs> to campaign for the candidates. That will give is a testimonial. It's a testimony to the fact that we believe in him and we believe that he can deliver. I will say all of this because of time. Because today is not my day to make long speech. That day will come, probably the grand finale. Today is for the candidate himself to unveil his program. Tell PDP make him bring their program, they don't get. Ask PC to bring their program, they don't have. We are the only ones that have a blueprint. <laughs> and this blueprint will be presented by the candidate himself. So today is not my day to campaign for him. He will speak for himself. But as the national chairman of the party, I have the honor and privilege to I will be having the honor and privilege to present the party flag to the candidates of the party. But before I do this, I want to invite our own president, our presidential candidate, the national leader of our party, the performer the achiever, the most outstanding presidential candidate in the just concluded elections. I have the honor to invite to the podium Peter Gregory Obi. <laughs>
ton papier. My people, I need you to respond loud enough. They can not say to the Bible people. Labor Party. Labor Party. Services Limited. Since 2006, 
I have people I support in Bayesa. I pay staff. I work. I pay tax in this state. Most people don't know. My experience in governance. In the University of Berlin, I was secretary of the National Union of Bayesa State Students. I went on to be president of Engineering Students Association in the of Berlin. When I came out, I was vice president of the Gautama Youth Organization. That's a play local politics. I went on to be secretary general of the Joint Youth Council. After that, I was president of the Joint Youth Council worldwide. I was appointed commissioner for youth in Bayelsa State, and later Commissioner for Environment. When the government was looking for somebody to resolve youth issues in the NDDC, I was called upon to be special assistant to the MD of NDDC. And so, I have been in business. I have done student activism. I have done youth activism. I have been in government at the state level. I've been in government at the federal level. I understand the issues. And so, you should be confident. Give me your support. I will be able to deal with the problems in Bayelsa. We have come up with a short agenda to deal with the issues. We are now going to look for who you go to come and solve our problems. By instance, you can solve their problems. You can solve the problem. What we need is a leader that will revive the consciousness in our people, that will raise the morale and show confidence in the people. And you'll be shocked at what by instance can do. That is the kind of leadership that we intend to provide to our people. The excellent sir, let me formally hand over to you our agenda, the deep agenda. The logo front. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm sure that you people have the pamphlet in your hand. We have this. Please let's give a guy one of one of those copies too. We have a summary of everything that we have here. This is the summary of all that is here. This is what if you go to every community in Bayelsa today, you will see this. The ones that have not gotten it, they are getting it. Because this is our bond with Bayelsa. We don't want to be those type of politicians that will come and say something and run away. Uh, we have asked market women, our mothers, to keep this in their box so that tomorrow you will say, you said this about education, you said this about agriculture. What have you done? It is the first time you have said that this is happening in the politics of Bayelsa. Here we have the big agenda. The acronym is the first P, people. Education, agriculture, and power. People is why we are here. You are the most important in every governance structure. The people are the most important. And that's why we have made you the priority. This is also the reason why we are standing before you to present our manifesto in a different way. Not the one that people will be beating by and shouting and nobody hears what we are doing. You can see how serene our engagement for politics is, is different from every other one. I want to thank you for the understanding. The people, health care, the people's morale for it to be revived, they need to be happy, they need to be alive. Your health care is nearly zero. The only functional medical facility we have in Bayelsa is the medical, Federal Medical Center, FMC. That itself is 20% chances, God forbid you have a serious ailment. Drug 
to start as soon as he can have faith. That's why right. when I go swallow, you get the uh, time for you go swallow, 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 swallow until you go find the one who walk. <laughs> that has to stop. But if that does not have a livable environment, there's no sanitation. There is no town planning unit. Look at our community, our state capital. No drainage, no drinking water. We have water bonds that Aboti is supplying water. We are going to revive, we are going to revive our medical facilities. Because of the experience I had with a loved one, with respect to the kind of medical facilities we have, I have a special thing to ensure that the two areas that will be the best in Nigeria, if not West Africa and Africa, will be medical services and education. We will revive our medical facilities. We will provide scholarships, special scholarships, when you sign a bond with the state and you are gone, that your bond is 